What's up YouTube, this is Necrostevo and it's time for another narrated Wi-Fi battle video. Today's battle is against Trainer Connor, one of my fantastically talented awesome rivals. If you haven't seen his side of the battle, it's up on his channel, please go check it out. Now in this battle, I actually was testing out a bunch of Pokemon, and I believe Connor was too, so it's a little bit of a mishmash of a team. Uh, I switch, into Empoleon, um, switch from Empoleon into Claydol, expecting superpower as he hits me with a critical hit knockoff. Getting rid of my Citrus Berry, that just completely neuters that Claydol, because that one uses Recycle with Citrus Berry to make sure it stays alive. But after you lose your item via knockoff, you can't get it back with Recycle. So uh, shoutouts to Guy for helping me come up with the set. I unfortunately haven't been able to use it yet. Now, I figured he did it. He was going to just U-turn away, expecting me to, if I did stay in, he could maybe knock me out, but Claydol can take a hit pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really punish the U-turn with the Rocky Helmet Arcanine too well because it is Regenerator, but I can burn this Mega Aggron. Uh, that's a great way to kind of deal with Mega Aggron, generally because he's already slow, so Paralysis doesn't help. And of course, you can't poison a Steel-type. So yeah, let's burn him, cut his attack power down. He actually goes for a head smash here, which I don't think I've ever seen on a Mega Aggron. Just uh, cause he doesn't get Rockhead anymore to stop the recoil. Granted, it's still a powerful move, it doesn't even have stab anymore, but I was expecting him to go for Earthquake, maybe Rock Slide. But Claydol can take those very easily. I can go for Rapid Spin to get rid of his rocks because my team does not like rocks. Um, I think only Claydol and Primate really resist it. Everything else is like, ow, the rocks. But that's fine, because spinning those away is going to put me into a good position later on when Arcanine needs to switch in and out a lot. Now since Meganium is in, I'm going to bring in Empoleon because I know I can roar him away. Uh, I can, at the very least, uh, hit him with a neutral flash cannon too. But first we're going to get my stealth rocks up, because I, I really want to put some pressure on him switching. We're already switching a lot in this battle. And there he predicted me to switch out, because of course a water type versus a grass type why would you but the difference is i'm an emperor penguin do you see the crown i have my emperor penguin in here there's no reason to switch out when you have a type disadvantage unless you roar your opponent out into raikou like i just did that was the one thing basically on his side of the field that i didn't want to see so now we do have to switch out not you know for fear of being knocked out or anything just for uh yes for the fear of being knocked out unfortunately though he has hidden power ice which would have I should have just stayed in and roared. That would have been really good. But bringing in Claydol there, he was kind of a uh, sacrificial weight on the team anyway, and I wanted to make sure I kept him alive until I really needed him. Um, but since Diancie is in here, this is a prime time to Mega Evolve. He does bring in Mega Aggron, which normally would wall Mega Diancie. But this, this number one, this Moonblast does a ton of damage, even though he resists it. And then even on top of that, I have Earth Power for coverage for Steel types. So his Mega Aggron really didn't have a choice there but to faint, unless for some reason I missed the Earth Power if Mega Aggron used its tail to jump like Ash tells his Pokemon to do in the anime. Otherwise, he's grounded. Now with Meganium in here, if you have watched uh, a few of Trainer Connor's latest videos with Meganium, I know how well this thing can take a hit. Uh, there he obviously predicted me to switch out, but not into Drapion, because of course if he toxic against Mega Diancie, the, mag the magic bounce will bounce it back and he toxic himself. So maybe he predicted me to go out into Primate there or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, as he switches out, I just went for knockoff. And I'm able to hit Starmie, and that's fantastic because that thing would have been annoying. Now, Drapion, again, one of my favorite Pokemon alongside Primate and Venusaur. There is a reason for that. I'm going to be able to go for Aqua Tail here, which is just surprising coverage to carry. A lot of people don't expect that. And he goes for Thunder Wave which he really should have just attacked if he had gone for a blizzard. It probably would have knocked me out, especially since he's holding a life orb. Um, or maybe not, it maybe would have been close, but with the two turns of blizzard damage, he probably definitely would have been close to KO range. But since I cannot be paralyzed that turn because of the Lumberry, I healed that off and I knock him out with a knockoff. I said the word knock four times there in less than five seconds. That has to be some sort of record. That's not a challenge. No one needs to challenge me on that. But here, predicting him to go for a Hurricane, or maybe U-Turn, I just go out into Diancie. Unfortunately, he gets a critical hit confusion with Hurricane, and the accuracy for Hurricane is lowered in Hail. So, that was, I almost said a Hail Mary, and I apologize. I, I didn't mean to say that, that just kind of came out. But, that was just incredible that he hit it at all, let alone get the critical hit and confusion. 
Now he nicely predicts my switch into Empoleon here and goes for a superpower. That sucks because now my Empoleon is on its last legs, or its only legs. It's just the legs are a little bit weaker now. And that means a superpower will be able to finish me off, which is unfortunate. Like I really, uh, Empoleon just was really, really nice for switch-ins um, to his Pokemon. But now that the hail has stopped, I can go back into Arcanine. Uh, I can either go for extreme speed here or finish something off with Flare Blitz, hopefully. Um, I was hoping that his Hurricane wouldn't do too much damage. I am a bulky Arcanine, but I am bulky on the physical side, not the specially defensive side. So it is a definite 2 hit KO with Hurricane, but fortunately, even without that much investment, I'm able to finish him off with Flare Blitz. Now with Raikou in here, I am forced to go for extreme speed, and uh, I, I kind of just go for it, hoping for a crit, maybe, but that extreme speed basically doesn't do any damage when you take into account uh, just two and three hit KOs. Like That was four hit KO, I think. So either he has a bulky type Raikou, or I just really need to put some attack investment on the Arcanine. But that being said, I knock off his Wise Glasses, which explains why that Thunderbolt did a little bit more damage than I was expecting. Wise Glasses raise your special attack by 10%, but nicely that puts him in range for my Primeape to come in and finish him off with a U-turn. If he went out into Meganium, U-turn would have done super effective damage to the Meganium too. So uh, I knew that I could live at least one Thunderbolt from Raikou, and the plan here was to bring in Diancy Put enough damage on the Meganium so that I could finish it off with Primeape. So I just needed to make sure it had below 50% HP, and I was probably pretty good. Uh, Moonblast is, is my strongest attack in this situation, and that does a fantastic amount of damage. Unfortunately, he has Giga Drain for his offensive move, and he heals back a good amount, and he's going to get a turn of Leftovers, and he's almost back at 50% HP, so not only did I need to hit this Gunk Shot, but I also needed to have it do enough damage. So I definitely hit, let's throw that trash can at Meganium. And it is enough to take out the Meganium, even though Meganium is a defensive behemoth. So I'm very proud of Primate for throwing those trash cans around. Uh, it definitely is a skill that not many uh, Pokemon have, besides maybe Garbodor, but those are more garbage bags. But that was a good match, Connor. I hope we have more awesome matches like that in the future. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye now.